know when I come back, you know what it look like. Everything lit, all the girls in free. Everybody inside, sipping on a good time. You ain't got a wrist sticking. My name is Rachel of For Goodness Cake, and I'm going to be teaching you today how to make mini ice cream cone cake pops. This would be a fun adventure for the kids also, just an FYI. First, I'm going to start by showing you the items that you're going to need to make these mini ice cream cone cake pops. I have the almond bark, the chocolate, this is what I'm going to be using today. I get these at Walmart, and they do have them in vanilla also. You're going to need a big mixing bowl. You're going to need a layer of cake, any flavor will do. Icing, again, any flavor you have will do. Your mini ice cream cone cake cups. I have a muffin pan, but you could definitely use a um, cupcake pan. I have these little colorful six licks. They sell these at the Walmart also, especially this one right here. This is their brand. Well, not their brand, but the brand that's sold at Walmart. And the... Um, section they call it celebrations or where the Wilton products are this one I have got at my local cake store you're also going to need sprinkles okay you're going to need scissors knife two spoons I use the larger ones for scooping the icing into the mix the smaller one is for mixing my chocolate and you'll need a microwavable bowl and I use a small one because I'm not using I don't need a, a whole lot of it and it's easier when I'm going to be dipping um, my cones in there also, you will need gloves. This is when the fun comes in. The kids will really like this one. Okay, and I also want to show you guys this because in the Wilton section, um, and I think the aisle is called Celebration um, Area Aisle. Not quite sure, but that's a celebration at the top where they sell all the cake, um, not cake supplies, but they have the Wilton products. They do have cake pans there also, the Wilton cake pan. This is the Wilton candy melt. And these come in different colors. Okay, you can use those also. So what we're going to start off with first is our cake, breaking it up. And to do that, I'm going to put on my trusty little blue gloves. Like I'm going to have surgery. But we're going to be operating on this cake. <laughs> and then we'll see what's going to come of it at the end. So this is how this goes. We're going to put all this to the side. Pull this out again when we're going to need it because I'm going to make this area so you're able to see what I'm doing. Okay. So what I'm going to do is right here, smash up. You can cut it if you want. This part, I love doing it like this. That's why I have the knife just in case. But I like doing it like this. It's so much fun. Okay. And you're just smashing it up into the bowl. Now, you know the kids will love doing this part. And I'm going to let you see the inside of it. And I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm not making that many. Because it's a weekday. And we don't like having a lot of sweets in the house on a weekday. And if we happen to have it, we're going to be forced to eat it. Yeah. So, okay, I'm going to take this. Now, can you imagine what kid would not like just playing with their food like this? I'm going to move this to the side. Okay. And see right here? I'm just smashing it all up in here. And then we're going to take our icing and just plop some icing in here and mix it up. You want to make it pliable so you can make a nice little ball to fit on top of your cone. Okay. Now, I just have regular yellow cake because I sometimes, I, like I said in previous um, tutorials, I also bake and decorate cakes. So I have mix left over and I'll just make a cake a layer of cake, wrap it up in saran wrap, and put it in the freezer until I want to do something like this. So what I'm going to do now is take a scoop of icing, okay, and then we're going to mix that up. Now if you feel that it's just too, too soft when you mix it up, you can add more cake to it. So all we're going to do is just squish it around and mixing it together. This is why you want to have these gloves. See? This is a fun mess. Can you imagine the kids helping you do this? They would love this. How many times they hear, don't play with your food? But right here, they have free reign, and they could just squish <laughs> and just squish away. So this is what it's going to look like. See? So you can make a ball. If you can do, make yourself a nice little ball. Y'all, this is so much fun. I'm serious. Go. See? 
Now, for me, just to feel, you have to get used to doing this on your own. I'm feeling it, and it's a little too soft for me because you have to understand you're going to be dipping this into some chocolate. First, it's going to be sitting on. I'm going to show you how to set your um, your mini ice cream cone um, up for for the little ball because you're going to dip it in chocolate first, the, um, the cone. Then you're going to set this on top of that chocolate. That's what's going to adhere to the cone. But my thing is when I'm going to turn it over to dip it into the bowl of chocolate, I don't want it to be so soft where it'll just break off into the chocolate. So I'm going to take a few more chunks of my cake. And just break it on up in here. And it's all to the, your liking. Because you might do it, and since you haven't done it before, try dipping it. If it doesn't work out, I guarantee you will not go to waste. You're going to have some cute little kiddo around there that's going to have no problem eating it up. I just like mine to be a little stiff just to hold on to it. And the thing is, this is like super, super moist because your icing is all mixed into your cake. Y'all, this is like, I want to just, I want to eat this whole thing. <laughs> Oh my lord, this looks so good. Just, just imagine the moistness in this thing. Oh my lord. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is start making a few balls and just put it to the side. See? Ta da! Put them to the side up in here. And the thing is, too. That once you dip your cone and set your ball on top of the cone, you put it in the um, pan, and you could set it in the refrigerator for about five minutes. That'll help get it a little harder. Now, the thing is, you don't want it too cold, so when it comes in contact with your um, your hot melted chocolate, it just won't look good. That's, that's one reason why I don't like doing um, the cake pops on a stick. Because once that chocolate gets on there, if the chocolate is too hot and the pop is too cold, it'll break. With this, I have never had that problem. And even if it had to happen, you can cover it up with these pretty sprinkles, okay? Just, just saying. So, now what I'm going to do is melt my chocolate, okay? Well, I have some of these balls here already made. Every time you melt chocolate, you want to start at 30 seconds, 30 second intervals. Don't start at a minute because that's too high. The thing is, I'm, I sometimes have to melt it, and I'm breaking these up. I sometimes have to melt them for 30 seconds twice, but that's okay. I, I tried, I saw it in my mind because I had to do it twice. Why not just do it one minute at the beginning? Big no no. It, it burned, and you cannot rescue burnt chocolate. So, what I'm doing is that I broke these up. I'm going to plop three of these in here. Put them in the microwave for 30 seconds. Okay. So, now, I have my gloves on because I would use my gloves when I'm making this for someone else. This I'm making for, oh no, I forgot, I'm not keeping these here. So, I'm going to need to put my gloves back on because I'm not, you know what, I'm going to keep these. I'm going to keep these and we're going to each have us one. We're going to be okay. So, in the meantime, while we're waiting for the chocolate to finish, I'm going to open up. Look how cute. This is so cute. And it's not like, you, it's not like it's too much you're eating. So, I think we could treat ourselves and have, I'm going to have at least one. Y'all, look how cute. Look how adorable. Oh, my Lord. And what I do, when, because when I have customers that order these, I'll wrap them individually in the cute little um, um, treat bag. Well, they're smaller than treat bags. I can't remember exactly what they're called. But you can find those also in the Walmart um, down the celebration aisle. Okay. So let me check on the um, chocolate. I'm going to pull that out and let you see it. Normally after 30 seconds, it's not all melted, as you can see. It's still a little hard, but what I do is I stir it up because when you look at the bottom, it's starting to melt. See? It's starting to melt here. Y'all, I could eat this chocolate, I swear, just all day long. Not that I will, but I can. Okay, so I'm putting it in for another 30 seconds. Getting my little cups ready. Okay, I'm going to put these back on. Should have had an extra pair, but I'll make these work. All right. Okay, and that should soon be finished.
position. I can pull that back out. All right. All right, I think we should be done. So what we're going to do is just stir it up, and it's really hot right now. See? Look at this. Girl, this is so, so, so good. So, what I want to see is this is the right side. Look at this. Perfect. Okay. So, let me show you what I'm going to do with this right now. I'm going to take the cup, um, the cup and just dip it, just the rim of it into the chocolate. See? Just around here. It has this cute little look on the outside, like a dipped cone. So, I'm going to take my ball and just stick it. Right on the top. I don't push it in. I just let it sit there. A little bit of it, of course, is going to be in there. I just let it sit here while I do the others. So, again, I'm so glad y'all are watching me do this. That way I won't lick the spoon. <laughs> again, we're going to take it and just dip it. If you have access, you can just wipe it right on the edge of the bowl. See? And again, we take our next little ball, just set it on top of that. This is going to make it stick to the cone, so when you turn it over to dip it, it won't fall off. Okay. And then we have cone number three. Again, take your cone. I mean, if you had the kids helping you do this, they'd have to call. You could have them on a the stool next to you. All of you just take it, dip it. And so what if they dipped it further down? So I'm going to do that. No big deal. They having fun. They make it something they're gonna enjoy eating because guess what? They made it. Hey, this would be a cool show and tell. They could bring it to school. After they made a bunch, they could bring them to school and show the class what they made, and that now they can eat it. That would be awesome. Yay! I love that idea. See, now it's even cuter with the, I'm gonna have it dipped further in. Okay. Then we're gonna let that sit here also. Okay, I'm gonna make a few more balls. And I'm only doing the more balls because I don't feel like I want to um, put it in the refrigerator because I want to I'm have you guys waiting. Okay, I don't want. I have some chocolate on now, so I'll put that one to the side. Make a few more balls. See, it doesn't have to be perfect. I, who cares if it looks like it's a perfectly round little ball? Nobody. They're gonna look at how cute this thing is with the pretty sprinkles, with the pretty chocolate. And the fact that they can eat the whole thing. That's what I like. Because with um, I always get asked to make um, cake pops. I, for a couple of reasons, I don't like making them. And I did mention that um, I, I have tro troubles when I would make them. Dipping them, my chocolate, for some reason, was always too hot. And the balls were too cold. And it would crack. And let me tell you, cake pops are so hard. So if you know someone that makes them, God bless them. That is not for me. But this, I love because it's kid-friendly. There's no sticks. They eat everything from the top to the bottom. Yum. Happy kids. Happy mom. You don't have to worry about any sticks or watch them if they don't stick themselves in the eye or someone else. So I'm going to get another little um, cone. And we're going to let little Susie, Anthony, Ashton, that's my grandson's name, Ava, dip their own cone. And then I can just wipe it off here. Turn it over. Kid gets the cute little um, ball, the cake ball. Pop it in here. I push it a little just so the chocolate will stick to it. Let's put this to the side. There we go. I have a towel somewhere, I think. All righty. So now we're going to move this to the side. And you still have a lot of cake. You can make a lot with just one layer of cake. And I think this one might be a, a 10 inch, a 9 or a 10 inch cake, okay? So, the next step, you're going to take your spoon and stir this up a little. And the, if you mix your chocolate and you see it's a little thick, you can add a smidge of to a half a teaspoon of shortening and then melt it. It doesn't change the taste of it. It just helps loosen it up. And that's something you're going to want to do with the colored um, candy melts, okay? Because I find that these, for some reason, are very thick. I personally like, like to use the vanilla, which is the white one, almond bark that um, Walmart sells, and I use my um, 
not regular food coloring, but the colored um, gels that I buy for my um, icing and whatnot. And that's another story for another time. I can show you guys how to do that one. But we're going to check on one of our first ones that we did. Okay. Whoa. Hey, it's like Dairy Queen. You know how they turn over the McFlurry? No, the McFlurry is McDonald's. It is the Blizzard. <laughs> See? It's there to stay. So, this is our next step. Okay. We mix this up. And instead of always going first straight to add and um, shorten it, you could always just reheat it for a few seconds. You don't do the whole 30 seconds because it's not going to be necessary. So I would like five seconds. Always start off with at least some amount because you could always go back and, and do it again. So what I'm going to do, I like to kind of tilt it. Okay, you can always hold it for the kids and they just take it, stick it in here. I can stick it all the way down to where I dipped to the cone. Okay. I let it drip for a little bit. Now, when I used to do this with the um, with the pops on a stick, oh my lord, the um, the cake would always fall off of the stick into my melt. Okay, I'm trying to get, I have chocolate all over my hand, but check this out. Isn't this cute? Okay, and then I do what I do is I put my hands over it, catching the top so I can put it down. Okay, and I'm gonna wipe my hands off again. So my next cone is not full of chocolate. All righty. Oh, maybe I could take these off now. Let me see. These are so funny. I look like some mad scientist. <laughs> okay, so let's try our next one. Okay. Again, I like to tilt it. And if it's full, you don't have to, but I like to tilt it just so I can catch all the edges. Okay, so I can kind of do like just one dip. And I kind of like move it around in there, side to side, just to catch all the edges. Y'all, this is like so much fun. And it's not, doesn't take long to do this. So can you imagine you and your kids doing this um, for some event you may have at school? And the thing is, you get this done. I'm going to wipe this part off right here. You get this done, and you know it was not that time consuming. And then you bring it to school, and just imagine the mom, I'm taking this off now, the mom will be like, on and on, and it's like, oh my God, um, Sally has a birthday party, I would love some of these. Cha-ching, you can start making money doing this. Yes, indeedy. Just a thought, just a thought I want to put into your head, okay? So, I did those, but I'm going to just dip a couple more, because what I want is for these to dry, because I'm going to do a second little... Dip just at the top so I can put some of my sprinkles. I don't like to put the sprinkles on when I do it the first time because for some reason it's like it's too, it's still too wet and it'll just drip down. But when I do that second little dip, because I don't have to immerse it so much, it's not so much chocolate and it'll hold to my cute little sprinkles. Okay, so now I'm going to do another one and I'm just shaking it up instead of stirring it, sticking that in there also. Moving it around just to cover up all the sides. Y'all, I'm so serious. When I do these, and I do when I did, because I decided no more, with um, with the sticks, I had so much cake <laughs> in my chocolate because it would always fall off. That's why I say God bless the people that do this because they have some gorgeous cake pops. It's just not my thing. So this right here. Okay. And the other should be dried up real soon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle some of these colorful sprinkles on it. Okay. I'm going to put one on top, like cherry. I don't know if I'm going to use the pink one. I think they're the same size. But you could do so much with this. I also did some that was two colors. Like, um, I think I had one that was like chocolate at the bottom or a white bottom and a chocolate top with the little cherry on top. There's so many ways you could do this. And what I would really appreciate is that once you guys get this tutorial and do this, please send me pictures of what you and the kids did because I would love to share this. And you can email it to me at for goodness cake yum that's why you am it's all one word for goodness cake yum at gmail.com i'm going to be starting a membership group i'm going to send out information on that if you are interested in learning more about upcoming tutorials just leave me that message when you or send me that in an email but also be sure to check out my facebook page and that's facebook.com slash for goodness cake dot yum and that's yum with four m I love doing that. 
<laughs> like that page because I'm going to be putting a membership group together soon. It's going to cost, uh, when I do my first opening, it's going to cost only $7, okay? And I'm going to be show in that group, you're going to get these um, tutorials at a discount. And it's a whole lot more, but that's the story for another day. I, honestly, I was just blabbing just so I could wait for this to dry up so I could show you guys the second dip and then the sprinkles, okay? So, and I like to use this. That way the sprinkles are not all over the place because I swear, under where my cabinets are made, they would be all in the little cracks and crevices until my husband got my little workstation here. So, now we're going to take this. It's already dry. It's like a dip cone, y'all. This is like, and it's like already so cute. I love it. And look at this. It's perfect for little hands. I love this. And there's no stick, so there's no potential eye pokes or anything else. So what I'm going to do with it this time is just lightly dip just some of the top of it. I'm not immersing the whole cake, in, I mean the whole um, top of it in there, just some of the top. I mean, I'm not immersing the whole cake part in it, just the tip top of it. Now I'm going to take these and just sprinkle, let them fall wherever. I'm shocked, I can see the other side, so I can sprinkle that also. And see, when they fall off, they're in the little um, muffin part of the, the little round part. So what I do afterwards is I'll just take, a, um, take it and pour it into, back into my little container. No waste. No fuss, no muss, okay? So this one, we're going to dip this one too, okay? And instead of putting the sprinkles on this one, now one of the things you want to do too is kind of give it a chance to dry because if you put the, um, I'm going to put some more sprinkles on this one because I want to show you something else with, I just had an idea. Ah, I always had a little light bulb. Idea, idea, Okay. So, let's see if this one is going to stick. And the reason why I'm taking my time with it is because it may be too wet. Let's see. Bam! Look at this awesome sauce. I love it. Okay, let's dip our other one. Yo, this is like so much fun. Can you not see the kids having a blast doing this? I love it. I love it. This one, I'm wondering, I'm thinking about just putting like a cherry on top. I'm just trying to get the chocolate to spread around. You know what? I'm putting sprinkles. I'm sorry. I didn't even think it just looks so much more festive. Now I'll put that. I'm gonna put a red little thing. And look at this, y'all. Everything, everything on here is edible. There's no poking in the eye. Oh, look at this. This is so cute. I love this. This is like too cute. There's there's so many different things you can do other than just the candies, but I just wanted to make this simple. I just wanted you to see just how easy this is and how much fun you could have doing this with the kids. So thank you so much for checking out my tutorial, and I truly hope that you have a blast doing this with your little ones and that you send me pictures. Don't forget, my email address is for goodness cake yum. it's all one word, at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Have a sweet day. Mm -hmm.